Good evening, everybody, and welcome. I'm Kelly Ring. And I'm Mark Wilson. Thanks so much for joining us. First up here at 6 o'clock, we've got new video and new audio from a 911 call that reveals what happened in the moments immediately after a county commissioner crashed into a tree last month. Deputies believe Manatee County Commissioner George Cruz was driving drunk, but they have not charged him. Instead, they have handed over their evidence to the state attorney to make a final decision on charges. Fox 13's Kimberly Cuisan reports tonight that evidence concludes body camera footage and also an audio call from 911. On April 20th, around 7.30 at night, a Manatee County Sheriff's Lieutenant came upon the scene at the Greyhawk subdivision. I was coming through the gate and somebody cut me off and blew right past me and I try to like hit my brakes and curve around them. The lieutenant's body camera records the interaction with Manatee County Commissioner George Cruz. He's out of his truck and in the back seat of his wife's SUV. The airbag just well the airbag doesn't have water in it so it doesn't have water. Why I, is there water? I'm, I'm stressed. Cruz's wife, Jessica, told the deputy she was just minutes behind him when someone cut him off. I'm trying to look and see how this went down. She's lying. The lieutenant's report said Cruz had glassy, watery eyes along with slurred speech, leading him to conclude that Cruz was under the influence of an unknown substance. There's no reason why he should have been driving, especially if you were right behind him. But with no witnesses to the crash, the lieutenant could not place him behind the wheel. Out of the seven people that stopped and told me about this, nobody stayed to say he was in that car. Had that been the case, my traffic units would have been here, worked the crash, worked the DUI, and he would have gone to jail because he was obviously impaired. Cruz may have gone home, but the investigation was not complete. Cruz's own truck would give investigators more evidence. Was there an accident or was it a faulty notification? No, I had someone swerve in front of me, so I swerved out. An automatic crash notification called 911. His wife can be heard directing him. Hey, are you okay? I need you to get in my car. I need you to get in my car right now. With a faint cruise in the background. I can't believe I did it. Thursday morning, Cruz remained on the dais at the Manatee County Commission meeting, but had this to say. Whatever their outcome is, is what we'll deal with at that point in time. And the state attorney's office is currently reviewing the case. I trust Sheriff Wells, I trust the state attorney Brodsky to do a proper job and a fair job, and we will move forward when they've completed their investigation. Kimberly Quizon, Fox 13 News. Now, in the sheriff's office report, Cruz gave two stories, one to deputies about swerving to miss a car while he told the insurance company an animal had run out in front of him.